Hello there, Sir Will. I'm Owen, your Laurier Live host. And I'm Lauren, and welcome to the May the 4th Star Wars special. But wait a minute, today's the 3rd. Shh. I, I know it's the 3rd, but tomorrow's the 4th, and I really, really, really want to do a Star Wars show because we have no show tomorrow. That's fair. I also wanted to do a Star Wars show. This is where the fun begins. Yes. Now let's start off the show with Jane with our Star Wars Faction Fair. Wow, this is so exciting. Let's see what they got. You know what, guys? I think those totally were the droids I was looking for. Do you love the letter X? Impossible missions in drastic situations? Then join the X-Wing fighters. We're currently looking for a new Red Six. <sighs> Finally, here we are. Do you love stacking rocks for absolutely no reason? Perfect! Join the Jedi Order. Meet the Masters of the Force. Mmm! -mm. Join the Jedi, you must! Come to the dark side. Let anger be your weapon and fear be your guide. Also, having a glowy red sword isn't anything to choke on. Yeah, but ours are cooler. Oh, before I forget, we have cookies. Ooh, what kind? Dark chocolate chip cookies. Can't wait to start. Just sign on the dotted line. Hey, you lied about the cookies. Well, of course I lied about the cookies. We're the dark side after all. Thank you, Jane, for the clip. I really enjoyed it, and personally, I think I joined the Stormtroopers because I can't aim. You know what planet I would really like to live on? Which planet? Tatooine. I really like warm places. Do you think it'll be warm during the week? Now why don't we pass over Jamie with the weather to find out. Thank you, Lauren. You're in luck, Owen. This week is going to be around 13 degrees and it's going to stay steady like that for the entire week. So it'll stay pretty warm. Um, however, there will be lots of wind and uh, there is going to be probably lots of rain throughout the week with a break on Thursday. If you're thinking of going outside, remember to grab those umbrellas. However, if you're thinking on staying inside, may this rain may be a possible excuse to uh, watch the entirety of your Star Wars movie collection. I know I will. Anyways, I'm going to hand it back to the anchors, uh, and may the fourth be with you, Sir Will. Uh-oh, I broke it. Oh no. We have lots of photos sent in by our photography classes, and let's take a look at some of them. Our first one here is from Arap Hosen, using an excellent frame the subject shot that really brings your eyes in towards the basketball. Owen, do you want to talk about the next one? Roger, roger. Our next photo is from Sia Dugal and is a great photo of a sunset using light and dark values to contrast the road against the bright and colorful sky. Our last photo was sent in by Evan and of a menacing stormtrooper surviving the Empire. There's a great use of the upward angle shot to show how truly fearsome he is. Thank you to the TGJ3 and 4M class for sending in your stupendous photos. Now we have a clip from Logan about why you should watch Star Wars. Hello there. Since we are a day away from May the 4th, I'm here to tell you why you should watch Star Wars. It is a great nine movie storyline that has lasted almost 50 years up about a constant battle galaxy wide that rages for so many years and has so many great characters. Within this nine movie series, we get the greatest trilogy known to man, the original Star Wars trilogy, containing A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi, the foundations for the great Star Wars story we know today. These Star Wars movies have so many great and amazing characters that really bring this story to life and make it so much more enjoyable. Throughout the Star Wars movies, there are so many great epic fight scenes with great soundtracks and music to back them up, along with some amazing special effects throughout the entire movies. 
Star Wars has also expanded beyond those nine movies, creating so many great te television shows like The Mandalorian and The Clone Wars, and some great side-off movies with Rogue One and Solo. There is something for everyone in the Star Wars universe, and that is why they have such a huge fan base around the world and converse at so many great events like the Star Wars Celebration and Comic-Con. If this isn't enough to sell you the story of Star Wars and get you to watch it, I don't know what is, because this is the single greatest universe ever created. Thanks, Logan. I also think we should all watch Star Wars. Hey, Lauren. Be honest, if you had the Force, would you be a Jedi or a Sith? Oh, definitely a Sith. Why? Is it because of the red lightsabers, the cool black robes, Force lightning, the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? No, Dark Side has dark chocolate cookies, and I find your lack of ch cookies disturbing. Uh-oh. Well, next up, we have a clip from Brent about him trying to use the Force. Man, I am so bored today. There's just nothing to do. Oh wait, I can try using the Force. I don't even know how to use the Force. Is it like this? Is it like this? I, I don't know. Um, can we try this? Ugh. Come on. Come on. <sighs> well, that didn't work. Disappointing. Well, I should probably try again. Alright, second time's a charm. I think I got it. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> well, the second time didn't work. Maybe. Oh no. Maybe I should watch Star Wars to see how they did it. Oh no. I think I got it this time. It didn't even work. I spent so much time trying to get it right. Is Star Wars even real? No worry, Brent. I also try to use the Force all the time. Well, that's all for us today. Tune in on Friday, May the 7th, for our next show. We'd love to see what you Lancers have been up to. Please send in your stories, photos, or even videos to us. We can be reached at lauralivegoolgroups.com, on our Instagram, at lauralive, or even tweet us at lauralive. Now, may the Force be with you all.